Welcome back here to the channel today. If you clicked on this video, sit back, relax, and you can do some gardening with me. I am by myself today. Austin is turkey hunting. I've been staying with my parents this weekend, but I come back over here today because definitely got some garden stuff that I need to do. And it's just a really nice and pretty day. It's just a tiny bit cool this morning. So I got on a, a kind of an overcoat here, but it's supposed to get up, I think to 77 today. And it's already, probably like 68 <laughs> honestly a little cool still here in the shade but it's really nice so if you've been following along on the channel you know that we've got a few things planted and i want to show you what those are because i'm so surprised stuff is coming up so fast we've got a lot of rain and i think that's really encouraged it to come up and then i want to show you some stuff that i got from satterfield nursery which is in robbinsville north carolina not far from us i actually did a video uh, about them last year and mom did a video this year so i would leave those links in the description if you want to check it out but i have plants still in the pot from them that i've had for several weeks that i have not got planted so that is definitely on my list today as well another thing that i am really excited to show you is we got some mulch and some rocks from my parents house and we might have mentioned this in a past video i definitely know that i've mentioned rocks before that i really wanted to have creek rocks to just line our kind of garden spaces with because i think that would be beautiful because my parents have always done that and of course it was much easier for them to go get the creek rocks because you know it was just a couple hundred yards away but i've we've kind of been slowly getting some rocks while we've been over there using austin's truck and bringing them back and so i've already got one little kind of space lined with some mulch and some rocks and i think it's so pretty and i've been just wanting to get to do that again and just haven't found the time so so i'm going to get going i'm going to show you what we got growing i need to go under the house and get some of the other plants to bring up here so i can plant them but i just want to say thank you to everyone who watches our videos it means a lot to us and we get a lot of comments of people saying that maybe they're not able to garden anymore or they don't live in a place like this where they can and and that's why i think it's really neat to get to make these garden videos because of course we're into gardening and we love garden stuff so we want to share it but i also just want to make these videos for people to just show them the beauty of where we live and and we're so fortunate to get to live in a beautiful place and i want people who do leave us comments that you know i wish i lived in a place like that i want you to kind of get to live through us so to speak that you can still get to participate in the in the beauty of our landscape so if you've been following along i think you're probably going to be surprised at how big those potatoes are those things have shot up so tall. The other ones are growing good too that I'm going to show you in a minute, but these are probably the tallest. If I kind of go down like that, you can see they are really starting to come up. You can also see our yard really needs to be mowed as well. Don't know if I'll get around to that today or not. This is the other grow bag of potatoes. Still coming up pretty good. And then we've got one more grow bag of potatoes down here coming up about as well as the first bag these two bags are probably doing the best and the one in the middle maybe not as good but still i cannot believe how good they're coming up so this is my lettuce and my kale bed i do see a weed here that i don't need so i think the kale is maybe getting to eat a little bit if you've been on the channel you know we're having a problem with slugs which i'm going to talk to you about in a minute but look at the lettuce I mean, it's coming up pretty good. It's looking really nice. So this first row right here is Paris Island lettuce. Then this is Sierra. This is Avenue. And I think both of these are really good for high heat. So that's nice. And then as far as the kale goes, I think some of it was blue scotch, maybe. I think I have lost some of my little things here. Uh, we got scarlet kale and uh, dwarf, Vale's blue dwarf. So we'll see. We'll see how the kale comes up. I think in the past I've had better luck growing lettuce than I have kale, but we'll see. Now check out these onion buttons. I don't think we actually planted onion buttons on a video. I actually planted some onion from seed, which I'll show you here in a little while. But look at these onion buttons. They Onion buttons always like work well for me. They come up really fast and do really good. So I am happy with that. I mean, some of these are really tall. So I'm pretty pleased with these. And this is a great size bed for these onion buttons. I mean, honestly, I thought maybe three rows like I got might be too much, 
but I really probably could have maybe even squeezed in another row. But the cool thing about these onion buttons is we'll just pluck them up when we're ready to eat them and then we can put more back in there or even something else. Kind of hard to see in the shadow here. I'll try to move around. This is just a Japanese maple that was here when we bought the house, but I love Japanese maples. I think they're so beautiful. They've got such beautiful leaves there. And then this is the apple tree. So we replanted this apple tree here in a better spot. And I have never seen this apple tree look so good. We pruned it as well. And it's got all kinds of leaves coming back. There's no blooms on it yet, but it looks a lot better than it did. This bed is still currently empty. That is something that we've got to do is get it filled. But since this is a bigger bed, we're going to probably put some of the direct sow crops like tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, and we're not going to be able to do that for a couple more weeks anyways, but we're going to have to get this bed filled up. Here are the strawberries. They're doing fairly good. This one looks like it didn't make it, but the rest of them look pretty green. I think that maybe might be two more there that didn't make it, but I think they're doing pretty good because the ones that did make it look pretty green. So we'll see. I've never really planted strawberries before, so we'll just have to see how it goes. And you know, if it doesn't go good, we don't have to do it again next year. But my mom has two green stalks of strawberries and they usually do pretty good. And these are narcissus bulbs that mama planted there that have come up. And this is our water hose. If you've been on the channel, you know we were so excited about this. This is just the coolest thing, y'all. It's got a really nice sprayer there. I like that the handle's on the inside and you can see it's got all these options. But the thing that I love about this hose is that it's like a non-kink hose. So it's like, I mean, you can see it's really soft and it is like a hundred foot hose. And so we've got it stretched all the way from just this end of the house because that's where the water hose is. And so it's coming under the deck right here. And when I initially saw it, I was like, oh, that's a, you know, why did we get a hundred foot? That's, you know, way too much when we're just going to be kind of watering out through there. But I'm so glad because all these plants that we have under the house, which I'll show you in a little bit, we could just walk the hose right down here under the house. And it is so handy and it doesn't kink up. I mean, this is amazing. I can't explain, I can't explain or convey to you how much easier it is to just pick up the hose and walk over and water. Now, last year we didn't have these beds. We just had like a few grow bags on this side, but it just was extremely irritating to fill up small water jugs and carry them all the way through the yard, all the way over here. It's amazing just to have this water hose. It's awesome. I'll go ahead and show you this. I gotta say, I'm just proud of this. I think this looks so nice. I'm gonna put some other little things there as well, but this is just the first one that I've got done. And I wanna make these little spaces on the outside of that bed. I'm not sure if I'll have room down there. I actually have some more blue stars right there that I might plant next to that one. But I think this makes these beds look so nice. And it's just a good use of the space because the space is there anyways. But I love the creek rocks. I love knowing that those come from the creek at my parents' house where I grew up. And those rocks are good and heavy, so when it rains, they're not going to get washed away. There was other rocks here on the property, just basically like these kind of more like gravel rocks. And I tried to make borders with them, and then you get a heavy rain, and they just wash away. So, I'm going to put flowers, probably more flowers right here. Let's see, I think this is my, no, this is my retro, which ends up with like really cool kind of spiky type flowers. And then this is my... I think that might be Gumfrina, which also has some kind of cool spiky kind of bloom. And then this is Bachelor Buttons. So these are coming up pretty good. And I can't wait to just make more of these little kind of end caps and, and get some more uh, grow bags in there. I ordered some more. I even bought two just kind of little plastic planters from Walmart. I think it's going to make it look so nice. And I'm just like picturing in, you know, July or so when everything is blooming and green. It's going to be so pretty. This is what's left of the mulch pile that we got from mom and dad's house. Still a decent amount of mulch. We don't need a, a ton yet. And if we do, we might borrow some more from them. I mean, we could definitely get a load delivered, but we'll see. You can really see in this side of the yard that the yard needs to be mowed. And then here's the creek rocks. We've just been piling them here. We got some really big ones in there. And then down here, my lavender is still doing really good. This is from last year. It overwintered out here all year and did fine. 
that's a little bit dead right there but for the most part it's coming back this strawberry mint is coming back everywhere in this bed i also kind of need to weed some in this bed and then down here i've got calendula you can see my shadow there but it's coming up really well so i'm excited about that and all of our blackberries are blooming those are blooming and then look at this big mess right here we intended by now to have a cattle panel running the length of that bank there I don't really know if it's gonna happen now or not. Maybe next year, maybe this year, not sure, but I've got a lot of those blooming. And then this is my chamomile, and I'm really just not sure. I mean, I definitely see some growth and I think it looks good, but then I'll see some places like that that don't look so good. And, and the lady at the, at the nursery said, herbs like it hot and dry. So I put these in their own grow bag and we've got a lot of rain, so it's, it's pretty wet right now but these grow bags dry out fast. So I thought I would leave these in the grow bag. So we'll just have to see. Look at this oregano. This is from last year. I didn't take it in or anything. It's just, I mean, come back like crazy. And then the lemon balm as well. And I even have kind of left some of these leaves in here to kind of protect it from any other cold spells we're gonna have, but it has definitely come back good as well. I'm also noticing some blueberries. So I'm really hoping this may be the year that, that we get some. These trees are looking pretty healthy. We lost one or two trees here that we got rid of earlier here in the spring. These blueberries were here when we moved in. I didn't plant them or anything like that, but they have some berries on them this year. So I'm hoping maybe we'll get some. And you can see those blackberries are blooming as well. So were those. And that's another Japanese maple that was here. We love it, and it's funny. It kind of uh, works like a stake for the blackberries. You can see kind of the white blooms on the other side of it there. I'll show you two other additions that we made recently. I just got those from Walmart to make that a little bit more comfortable, and I think the color is nice. And then we got this wind chime hung up. I love this wind chime. Oh, it's so hard to see. There's a shadow, but... Maybe if I try to tilt around a little bit, it's just, it's hard to see, but it's ceramic and it's just really pretty. It's got kind of the leaves there and it just sounds really nice and looks really nice. And uh, I had it, I got it for Christmas and I hadn't put it up yet. So we like looking at and listening to the wind chime when we're sitting out here. So these are the grow bags that I've got ordered see what size these are these are 10 gallons so they're a little smaller those are like two gallons and then i think those are oh, i don't remember 20 25 gallons i don't know if those are the 30 gallons or not but i wanted to have some smaller ones to set next to the big ones and these i just got at walmart you know nothing fancy about them they're like six bucks i didn't think that was too bad of a deal and i think those with this color could be really pretty next to the uh, raised beds all right, y'all, I've come down here under the house to show you what I've got going on. I'll be honest, a lot of these I should have already planted, and I think they've been getting a little bit too wet down here, but I've had a lot going on here recently, so hopefully I'll get some of these planted today. These are ones that I got at our local fruit stand. I love these. I have always loved dianthesis. I had never seen one that was that color. I'm probably going to maybe try to plant all these together. And then look at these. These are the onions, the bunch of onions that I just planted from seed. I had never planted from seed. I've really only done onion buttons before, so I had really no idea if they were going to come up or not. And they look great. So I'm very excited about that. Now, these onions, and this is where you can see, I think that they've got too wet. Maybe like the big drops of water coming off the roof might have kind of got some of that dirt out. But these are, I think these are called like red like candy cane onions, and then that's kind of a white version, and these come from Satterfields. I'm thinking maybe I'll try to put these in a grow bag. As you can see, they're so leggy. They, they really need to be planted. This is some chives. That's some chives. Wow, that's trying to bloom right there that you can see. Uh, that's some banana mint. I believe this is catnip. This is actually some columbine that is just, uh, that I started from seed in mom's greenhouse. And then these are flowers. This is celosia. And I've actually got a celosia plant that's already blooming that I'll show you. I love celosia. And then this is a pansy. And this is like what they called a historic mix. And it looked so beautiful in Baker, Baker Creek Seeds catalog. So I planted two, only one come up. But I would love to see this thing bloom because it was beautiful. 
I got two elderberry bushes, which I'm super excited about. I really need to get those in the ground because the roots are coming out the bottom. But for elderberry, you need two so they can pollinate. And I'm hoping to put these maybe somewhere near the apple tree. These are columbines, as you can see, that are actually already blooming down here. Columbine is one of my all-time favorite flowers. My mom just has a lot of them. Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder if this is going to be... Sorry, you could not even see it there. I wonder if this is going to kind of grow out to be like that or if it's going to have this kind of like really peddly star shape. That's beautiful. Got more flowers here. They definitely are looking a little pitiful, y'all. Not going to lie about it. These are gorgeous. I love the color there. This, I think, is another dianthesis, but ooh, he's so not looking good. I'll probably maybe trim that part off, and that, that part looks pretty healthy. This is the other Celosia, and this is what sweet little Quincy at the nursery said he called rooster's comb, and as you can see, it does kind of resemble a rooster's comb. I've got rosemary there, some marigolds, these oh my gosh i cannot remember what these are but they're a flower this is cabbage from my mom i no matter what i'm gonna get these cabbages in some grow bags today i've got some sage some foxglove that is such a beautiful bloom there this is my other blue stars that i have but this one is not looking good and i'm not sure if i let it get too wet maybe this one was dry i don't know so I'm not really sure what those are doing, but I think this would be nice to maybe plant them next to the other blue star. And it was just here when we moved in. But I just think that these are really pretty. They're really hardy. They don't really take a lot of maintenance. I just wanted to show you around, show you kind of what I'm working with before I get to work here. As you can see, we don't have a super big space, a super fancy space. And you can probably already tell by now I am by no means a master gardener or anything like that but I'm just having so much fun. It's amazing to plant a seed and then watch it grow. And especially when it's food, when you know this is gonna be able to feed your family, it's just amazing. I feel so blessed to get to do this and I'm so incredibly thankful for the space that I have. I'm thankful we were able to get these beds. It's just super exciting and I'm just super pumped up about it. And that's why I wanted to share this video with all of you. One more thing before I get to work. I want to briefly talk about my Michigan shirt. I wore this shirt in a video that my mom did recently and I got some kind of funny comments about it, nothing bad. I need to get me like a Georgia Bulldog shirt cause that's at least who we pull for in football or whatever. But this Michigan shirt come from our friends when we went to Michigan to see them. And I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but it is really hard to find shirts that are made of 100% cotton. Most of it's polyester, which if you've been on the channel before, you know that Katie and I like vintage polyester, but not when you're going to be working in the garden when it's 70 something degrees out. So I was looking at all the labels on my shirts and I found that this one was 100% cotton. And I find that if I wear it outside, even though it's a dark colored shirt, it will kind of wick moisture a little bit and keeps me cooler. So I just wanted to bring that up. I need to get me like a Georgia shirt, maybe that's got 100% cotton or some kind of, I'm sure there's a lot of shirts that are made to actually work outside in. So if you know any good brands, you can drop me a comment. Okay. First order of business, cabbage. I went ahead and moved this grow bag over here by the potatoes. I don't know, I kinda wanna keep the vegetables maybe more on this side of the yard. Not that I'm like opposed to growing vegetables in the other side of the yard, but at least for this moment, kinda makes sense for me, to me, to put the cabbage over here. So this is a big grow bag. I think probably that one is a 25 gallon. That's probably a 30 gallon. It was heavy. If you hear me out of breath, that's why. So I got it carried over here. I'm gonna top it off with some compost there's already some compost in it from last year i'm going to top it off with some topsoil mix it around and then we're going to go ahead and get the cabbage in there i am going to do two i think i already said that because this is so big these are the best gardening gloves i have ever had i just got them at lowe's if i can find a link on amazon i'll put them in here my favorite thing about these is this right here I have small hands and small wrists and it's so annoying when stuff gets up in your glove or they're hard to keep on. These are awesome though.
So these are both Brunswick cabbage. Gosh, these things desperately need to be planted. But today is the day. Alright, I gotta see what I think will fit. Maybe just all chives, I guess. And that way it'll give them room to grow because I know they're gonna get bigger than that. Bless this little guy's heart. Look at those roots. It desperately needs to be planted. Let's see, am I actually gonna put him over here? I've never grew chives before, but I do like chives and I think it would just be really cool to be able to come out here and get some off to put in our food, you know, fresh. I think that would be nice. And I can't even really say that I've grew up eating a lot of chives, gosh. But I just think that it would be a, a nice addition to our meals. Nice to season stuff with. All right, there's my chives, done. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm telling you, it's hard to do these five-gallon buckets full by yourself. All right. We might be able to save these, maybe. Okay. See, I was thinking like maybe I could do like an outside circle and then maybe an inside circle. Okay. Just like that. There we go. All right. Yeah, these may make it. I think maybe I'll just put some in this corner right here because I think if anything was gonna come up right here, it would have already. All right, onions and chives are done. This little bitty one will be very easy to fill because it's not gonna take much. Okay, so what I'm gonna put in this little one is a fox glove. These are beautiful and it's already kind of big and this little thing is kind of small so I think this will be a, a good size. I'm trying to get all the dead stuff off there. There we go. Push it down in there. Cover it back there. Yeah. These little two gallon sizes are, are very handy just for single things like this. I like them a lot. Something like that will do. I think I'm gonna put both of these columbines together If I don't take all its leaves off first. Ah, I put it backwards. So I was simply turn this around. I actually wanted this purple on this side anyways. So that'll do. <laughs> Pay a little more attention. And no matter which way I put it, some of them are going to be backwards. But we'll try to get at least the majority of the ones that have already bloomed towards the front. <laughs> Okay.
I want to put some marigolds because I think marigolds are beautiful, but they're also good for deer deterrent. So I think that would be very nice. I also really like the way marigolds smell because they have kind of a weird smell, but I like that smell. It's like a, almost like a minty smell in a way or something. But I like it too, because Mama's always had marigolds and it just reminds me of being a little girl, so I do like the smell. All right, I think this little space is pretty much done, at least for now anyway. I think I'll put the petunias though in the big one. I think that would be good. I kind of want the pansy to just be by itself because, I don't know, I just do. Maybe I think that that will increase its chances of coming up. I'm just going to let it go down in there and be a loner. I think I'll put all my celosia in here and do marigolds in the back. I think that's a good plan of action. I'm gonna actually put these in with this, is what I'm gonna do. All right, that is actually a lot of marigold, so I might take one back, at least one back over to the other pot, because that's a lot. I think what I'll actually do with these two extra ones is put them in a little baby thing and maybe just put them somewhere else. Whew. All right, that is all the time that I have got right now to work on this. I didn't finish it all, but I didn't really think that I would. I love to garden, I could do this for hours, but I have got to move on to the next thing. So I'm just gonna leave these up here for now where they will still get water. I want to look back over though, what I did get done. I always enjoy looking back over the progress that I've made. And those were looking pretty lame, but I think with some watering and some time, they'll come back. I did set all my blue stars out here. I just have to think about how I want to place those. But for now, they'll get lots of sun and water. And I think these look really nice. Looking really good there. Really hope that pansy will make something. This is looking really nice as well. I'm pretty satisfied with what I've been able to get done in a short amount of time. Before I end the video here in a minute, I wanted to show you. So we bought some lava rock, actually just from Amazon. And a lot of people have suggested this, I've read this online a lot, that it's bad for slugs because if they crawl across it, it hurts their little bodies because their little bodies are very soft. So I'm thinking maybe we could take this and just line all the beds with it, you know, all the spaces because then there's no way that they would have any kind of point of entry because if they crawl across this, it's gonna hurt. You know, I've used dye to make this earth before, and that's good, but then if it rains, it washes it away. But this lava rock could be, could be something that would kind of stand the test of time. So I'll be interested to see if this works. I'm excited to get it around the beds. I'll be honest, I don't really like the texture of that. If you've been on our channel before, you know that I have a weird problem with textures like that. So I really don't care for that. It kind of creeps me out, but that's okay. If it's going to protect my garden from slugs, I'm all about it. 
I had to stop for lunch. I'm getting pretty hungry. I've got some beef and rice and vegetables here. I hope that you enjoyed this video, just kind of getting to see a garden update, kind of what we got going on here. I'm excited about the flowers, excited about just adding all these little touches. I think it's really nice. It's going to be awesome when we get to direct sow the peppers and the tomatoes and plant the squash. It's going to be really fun. Lots of exciting things going on. Definitely stay tuned for the next garden update. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God keep you. Hope you enjoyed this, getting to be outside with me today, and I'll see you on the next video.